Oh, hallelujah. Just so you know, salvation comes in many forms. So, I've been trying to bleed this sucker for a while. It's been the last thing that I needed to get this thing done. I did the piston, the valves, like top end, clutch work, some new cables, uh, kill switch, like carb up the wazoo, just to get this thing back online. Cause it was, when I got it, just kinda, had been sitting for a long time, not working. It was a hand-me-down from Wheeler. Thanks Wheeler, things are coming along. And she's so, so close at this point, but this would not bleed. This is actually even a different master cylinder cause I wasn't sure if that master cylinder was working. So I'm on a different one and I was like, oh crap, is this thing even working? Because what I would get is a lot of, a lot of fluid come through and I could, you know, I was doing the standard brake bleed where you take a hose like this, obviously, you know, and you try and put it on there to, to make sure the air bubbles stay in there and the fluid stays there so you don't suck air back in, things like that. But I could not for the life of me get this to bleed and I don't have one of those bleeders where you can bleed it from here up to try and get the air bubbles out. Those are probably pretty handy. Don't have one. And I've been fighting it, but I thought, you know what? If I disconnected this guy, I unhooked it there. The hardest part about air coming out of this is this sting loop down. Like how is air supposed to go up and push itself down, down, down? Like, but if I rotate that sucker up like that, and it's up, then I hold this hose up the whole time. So now I gotta up, up, up. The air bubbles just keep coming up. Natural tendency air bubbles to come up. What do you know? Like one to two minutes later, she was bleeding. I get pressure. Um, now I can actuate this sucker right here. Squeeze it back in there and then. Uh... Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! So I think we're in, in business. Super excited about that. I don't know if you're supposed to be able to press on it and bleed it back. It's doing that probably okay but she's ready to ride and like I said I just wanted to share how you know rotating this elevating it letting the air bubbles go up 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 really changed things because this thing was fresh uh, when I started and it's like down to the very bottom because I've been trying and pumping and pushing and I knew it was pushing fluid because it would always fill up the tube and the tube would always fill up with this about the same amount each time be like squish squish but it would never start pushing the cylinder until I finally got all the air bubbles out. So, it might be a tip you could try. Don't know, it worked for me. Loved it to finally be there. So we'll be riding soon. Super stoked. Got some new rubber over here. Some fresh 19 on the front. Instead of 18, it's a little wider. It's gonna be helpful at the dunes. Maybe hit Okatia well soon. I'm also buying a Ford Raptor 2014. It's got 120 miles, or a thousand on it, but. <laughs> you know, what car wouldn't have a lot at that point? But the Raptors are so tidy, super excited. It's the 6.2 liter. Um, you know, the SVT, or is that SRT? I think it's SRT. Anyway, um, I've always wanted one. And for some reason, the stars aligned and I'm getting one. So I'll show a little bit about that. Gonna be a fun little project. I'll get my other kicks on the road. My garage is full of um, projects, so don't mind the mess. But uh, yeah, this one's gonna be on the road soon. See you at the track. We'll be out to the dunes um, this year for sure. So, you know, if you see me out there, holler. Um, follow, subscribe, share with friends. Don't got a lot of subscribers, but I'm hoping to get more content this year to just make it a little bit worth your time to, to follow. Some new gas valves coming with risk racing. Um, some stuff we've been working on. Uh, fresh order of dune whips with some minor modifications, so those should be a little more tidy this year. Um, yeah, uh, and then I've kind of done some things outside of the moto world. I'm just trying to think of what else you'd care about. So anyway, follow, subscribe, and uh, I'll share them there. And maybe you care, maybe you don't, but appreciate it. Peace. Big thanks from Zen Times 10 for watching. If you like that video, make sure you subscribe. We have future promos and contests coming up. Click that like button and drop us a comment on the way out.